In this video, we're gonna talk about Sheets macros. Now, I've gone through an introduction to App Script before. You can find a link to that up here. But we'll be going deeper into App Script, which is used to create macros in this video. And then in later videos, we're gonna talk about how to do this without the macro recorder. So I've got a data set here um, for rental properties. You can see it's quite a large data set here. And I just wanna clean up the data and pivot it up. But I've got three months of that data. So I've got January, February, and March. They're all in the same format, so a really good use case for a Sheets macro recording. And to get to your Sheets macro recording, you wanna go up into extensions and go into macros and then click record macro. And you can use absolute or relative references here. I want to use relative references because I'm not doing the same thing on the same sheet every time. And I will start off here on the top A1 cell. And then what I want to do is I want to just change the appearance of this. So I'm just going to select all of that. I'm going to go down, pick a blue, pick a white, and then go across and I'm going to select everything in here. And I'm just going to just make this a little bit easier to read. I'm going to save that macro and I can just call this one layout and this will save the macro and keep all the steps of it and when i go to edit script this will take me into app script and this is the app script here you can just see it's getting the active sheet it's getting the active cell it's doing that direction we looked at and then it is giving it a background it's giving it a color and then it is resizing the columns in there so that macro is saved I don't need to do anything else with that. I can just go into my other two sheets. So I can go into February and I can go up into extensions, go to macro and I can click layout. So the script is now finished. And now you can see this page has also been altered and we can do the same in January as well. And we can change the layout in there. The real valuable macro is the data cleanup macro, which I'm going to do with pivot tables. So for this one, I just want to see how many properties per state are on the market in each month. So I'm going to do that with a pivot table. Again, going into extensions, going over to macro, recording a macro. Again, I'm going to use relative referencing, select all this. I'm going to insert a pivot table. So I've created my pivot table here and here I want the state name in rows, the property type in columns, and I want to count the IDs in values, and I want a unique count of IDs in here, and then I'm going to sort this by count of unique IDs descending on apartment. So this will be sorted by the state name and then sorted by the apartment so the state name with the highest number of apartments for rent all the way down and that's important for later because we're going to change this macro so i'm going to save this and i'm going to call this pivot table i'm going to save this as a macro so this will save our new macro and by going and look at this script here it's the same script as before, but you can see there's a new function added onto this. So you can see this one is a little bit complicated, the one we looked before. We're going into the spreadsheet, we're doing next, which is all the way across, we're doing down, and then we're creating a pivot table from the sort data, and then we are grouping that by sort descending apartment. So back into my rental property here, if I go into February, and I go to my extensions, go to my macros, Go pivot table and then it's creating my pivot table and then it's counting unique by apartment so we've got this done now for the next month as well and what i can do for march if i wanted to sort this by house instead of apartment i can just go into my recorded macro and i can just change this apartment here to house i can go up and save my script and then when i run this again into march and i'm going to go to pivot table and then this will run and instead of counting these by apartment, it's going to have these by house descending. And we'll be going much deeper into altering what's inside the script and building scripts from scratch in later videos. Hope you found this video useful. Follow for more.